gentleman. I will introduce him. Not as somebody who is the topper, who is a winner of the Physics Olympiad. Not as somebody who is a rank holder in an entrance exam. But rather, as someone who although is not the son of the Khans or the Kapoors, is still hitting double centuries at the box office. He is dashing. He is dynamic. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the winner of the Youth Icon 2016. I request you all to give a huge round of applause to welcome Sushant Singh Rajpur. Rahul to please present Sushant with the bouquet. The stage is all there, Thank you so much for that. I have this habit of carrying chicks in colleges, so... <laughs> well, uh, before we get going, I have a confession to make. Uh, I became an actor because I had a problem. I was an introvert. You know, I'm, I'm the youngest in my family. And I was so pampered in, in uh, my house that when I used to step out, I uh, didn't know how to deal with people. So I, I gradually I became this very shy introvert kid who could not talk. Well, I still cannot talk. And uh, I have this stage, right? So in case... Um, so what I do generally as an actor is I hide behind all these fascinating characters and uh, then I'm confident. But uh, like right now, as I'm not acting, so there are problems that I'll screw it up. Uh, so excuse me if I falter. Excuse me if I don't make sense. Excuse me if I get a panic attack right now. <laughs> but I'll try my best. We love you anyway! <laughs> Alright, I would love to share my journey with you, my learnings, and in case you decide to drop out and uh, join me in Bollywood, it will come very handy. So, uh, I was thinking in the car, what do I talk about? What can I tell you that you already don't know? I'm assuming and I think most probably you guys are way much more smarter and uh, better than what I was when I was your age. You know, you know, already know about the cutthroat competition. You know the importance of hard work, perseverance, and uh, vision, focus, self-belief, and etc., etc. So I don't need to talk about that. But after deep thinking, I, I, I zeroed down into two things that I can actually discuss about. These two things talk about chasing your dreams and actually living your dreams, which unfortunately nobody mentioned to me when I was starting out. And those two things are, can I write them? Can you see the words? All right. Is it a magnet? I 
always wanted to do this in front of uh, professors, so I just... <laughs> Sorry for that. Uh, so yeah, so those two things are the biggest lie and the only truth about success that I was told about. Now the biggest lie was money plus recognition is equal to happiness is equal to success. So let me begin by mentioning that I come from a very um, middle class family. And when I was growing up, money was a big, big, big differentiator in my life. Also in uh, the three generations of my family that I know of, that are documented, nobody knew what fame uh, felt like. So basically, uh, both uh, money, and recognition were missing when I started out. So I already started out as a failure. Let me be very precise. My family told me that I had to become an engineer. Medicals were booked for my sisters. Uh, yeah. So once I'm an engineer, then I can, uh, you know, try a civil services examination and then probably, yeah, that will be like opening the doors for all kind of happiness and I'll be forever successful. I'll be forever happy. This is the condition that I experienced when I was growing up. Alright, fair enough. Good deal. So I became very good in studies. Did fairly well in my 10th board exams. And then off I went to Delhi for my plus two. Got myself enrolled in a nice school. And uh, with them there and Fiji and half a dozen of uh, uh, other coaching institutes. And uh, I used to share my room with three other similar aspirants. What it meant was, every day after finishing my assignments, school assignments, and preparing for my engineering entrance exam, I had to wash my clothes, and I had to cook food for myself. But I wasn't complaining. Well, it was worth it, because after all, I was, for the very first time in my life, I was so close to become successful for the first time in my life. So yeah, finally I slogged, I got selected for several engineering colleges and I decided to take admission in Delhi College of Engineering which is now known as DTU, thank you. Are you my senior or junior? <laughs> So yeah, so uh, there was a celebration like this in my family too. <laughs> I could finally stop for a while and breathe, you know. I was telling myself that, you know what, now you have made it. You should be happy because you are supposed to be happy. But it wasn't working that much. Something was missing. There was a void that I could feel. So I, I thought maybe something bigger was required. For some, reason, for some reason, incessantly, while uh, the first 18, 19 years of my life, the future me was much happier, much successful than the present me. So I was like, alright, fine. So I was forcing myself, I promised, uh, as I promised, I started preparing for civil services examination, and I was forcing myself to slog, uh, but I was bored. UPS, UPSC exams were still far away, in the meantime, I thought of doing theatre and uh, I thought to learn dance because uh, to counter the, the <clears throat> shyness that I had, still have, and also because there were no girls in my engineering college for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I felt cheated, man. We slog so much, you crack the entrance exam and you find that there are no girls. So, <laughs> yeah, so somebody told me that there are very uh, good looking girls in dance uh, schools. So I was like, fine, I go there. <laughs> And uh, once I started with performing arts, I knew one thing for sure. I knew that I quite like it. And three years later, imagine me sitting in the campus and I'm thinking, all right, I'm really interested in performing arts. And all I want to do is to earn money and to be recognized. So if I become a movie star, Hmm. I actually was very serious and I dropped out of my college in the third year when I was just two semesters away from getting the degree. 